Bookworm with Manat and Sarah. Hi friends, my name is Manat and today we are going to read something from Bane. Let's start to reading. Something from Nothing, written by Pobin Gilman. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled. It's worn. It's anxiety. It's torn. It's, it's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said. As his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, and in and out. There's just enough materials here to make. Old jacket, Josie put it on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Josie, look at your jacket, it's shrunken and small. Does it fit you at all? It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it around and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough materials to make. A wonderful west! Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day, but as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissor went snip, 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 and his needle flew in, in and out and in and out. There's just enough materials here to make. A wonderful tie, Josie wore that wonderful tie to his grandpa's house every Friday. But as Josie grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Josie, look at your tie. The big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Josie said. Josie, grandfather, took the tie and turned it around and around. Hmm, he said as his scissor went snip, snip, snip. And his needle flew in, in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make. A wonderful handkerchief. Josie used a wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. But as Josie grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. 
One day his mother said to him, Josie, look at your handkerchief. It has been used and uh, it's tattered. It is spotted and it's splattered. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Josie said. Josie, grandfather, took the handkerchief and turned it around and around. Hmm, he said it as his scissors went snip, snip, snip. And his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough materials here to make. A wonderful button. Josie wore the wonderful button on his sub and to hold his pants up. One day, his mother said to him, Josie, where is your button? Josie looked. It was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Josie ran down to get his grandfather house. My button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother ran after him. Josie, listen to me. The button is gone, finished Captain. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Josie, grandfather shook his head sadly. I am afraid that your mother is right, he said. The next day, Josie went out to school. He, hmm, he said as his pen went scratch, 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 scratch over the paper. There's just enough materials here to make a wonderful story.